Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome back. Already got through our first week of almost the end of summer. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Good morning. Good to see you, Phil. Good to see you. Good morning, Ken. Charles, good to see you. Karen, Mark, Tim, everyone. Staff CTU. Let me tell you, it's, it's, it's going to be a gorgeous week here today in New York. And I'm telling you, I think a lot of people are going to probably take off early. But, uh, but there is a very interesting big list today. I told you going into last week, a lot of earnings came out, a lot of good action going on. We're looking at this square right here. Uh, just want to kind of just slap it in here really quick on my level four. Uh, let me just bring this up over here. You could see right here that there is a big seller. There was a buyer out there, but these buyers got executed right around here at 73. There's a, a 72.50. There's another big buy ride here. You can see um, at 72, 71.50 and it kind of a little bit of a bounce. Looks like he's testing them right now. He's getting hit with stock. So, um, you know, listen, it's a little bit more in an advanced stock uh, when we come to, I'm sorry, a little bit more of an advanced stock right here, the uh, square trade. But you know what? Uh, if you're a level three, level four trader, this is right up your alley. But you can see that buyer just got executed right there on the bid. So it looks like it's breaking lower lows. Hopefully one did pretty well, 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 well on that. But before we get started and talk about some of the stocks that we're going to be trading, there's a pretty decent list here on Friday. Just guys, remember, um, we've got a lot of stuff that's going on this week here at Cyber Trade University. Just remember, uh, we're going to be doing a, a closing bell event on Trade for a Cause. I think you guys uh, that are interested in charity, I'm going to be doing a big event with them. And also remember, the Trader Summit is coming up September 10th to the 12th. So uh, just make sure you booked your hotel. Um, we have a corporate rate at the hotel and your airfare. And uh, it's going to be a fun week. All right, guys. So uh, let's get right to what's going on in the market and see what's happening. But before we do that, let's talk about what happened yesterday. We almost like kind of like forgot what happened yesterday, right? I mean, what happened? They lowered interest rates. And, you know, we saw the after effect what happened. And all of a sudden, Trump, uh, President Trump comes out there and he raised the tariffs on China. That took the market down. And we had a, it just totally tanked, and it came back a little bit. Looks like a lot of things, um, you know, took too big, took a big fall going right into the close. I mean, AMD was a great short. I did the wrong window. Hold on. AMD. I mean, everything just took a big, big, big hit right there. You could see it, and then we had a nice little pop back up. But, um, but the two big winners I, I really want to talk about is the TWOU. Now, we were trading this stock in our ad phase three advanced class. I know you guys did really well on the bounce on this one. And I told you, like, you know, yesterday in class, I kept on telling you this. Listen, you got to go back to phase three and you got to watch it. Because this stock right here that we traded in phase three, um, if I didn't, I lost money on this trade. But so minuscule, I think I lost like 100 bucks. But I would have probably lost like, I don't know, a few thousand if I did not get out where I sold those big orders. I did everything right. It was just amazing to see these orders of 50,000, 80,000 getting done at these huge iceberg orders. And I, and I said, you know what? It, 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 eventually, it's, it might, we're going to get a bounce. I mean, I, I, that's one of my expertise. I love bounces. I love bottom fishing. And sure enough, it really kicked into yesterday, and you guys really capitalized on it. Went from twelve twenty up to fourteen dollars right out of the gate. And I think you guys did really, really well on that. Uh, SPWR was also a pretty good one yesterday too. That one had a nice pop right at the gate. Uh, that stock right there went from thirteen eighty all the way to sixteen dollars, and just really just stopped there. At, 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 I mean, listen, I keep telling everybody this that when you're trading in in being a cyber trader. Um, I, I had a conversation, there was a student, well, he wanted to be a student and the problem, you know, and, and he, he was going back and forth. He wanted to be part of cyber Trade university. And I really felt bad for the guy because he's like, did you watch all the traders in the room, what they're doing? He goes, you know what? I was too busy. I was watching my trades. I was looking, but I was in these positions. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? This is not a full-time job. You're not supposed to be here all day. It's only an hour in the morning, an hour in the afternoon, and maybe you see a couple of things trading in the afternoon, but really not really doing that much. And, he, and, and sure enough, what do you think happens? Calls me back. Hey, Fausto, where do I sign up? Because um, I just lost a few thousand dollars in the stock, and I, I guess I should have listened to you. I, should, I was in a position at 12 o'clock, and uh, I don't know what happened. I, I, I knew what happened. He got into a shake. That's what happened. 
Right, Ken. They're, they're observing, and but then they're in positions. And you know, I tell everybody when you're when you're part of CTU and you do and you start out and you do even if you're just a trial, don't do anything. Just watch what we're doing. Watch the traders in the room, and you'll see. I mean, we do, most of the work we do is in a pre market. And that's about it. But you got it. You know, it's not a full time job. And I think a lot of us are old enough to realize we don't want to sit at a computer all day, you know. So anyway, let's see what's going on this morning. But I thought I'd maybe just kind of tell you exactly some of these experiences that we've all been there. We've all been there. And you know what? It's a great job in the world. It pays a hell of a lot of money. But you got to know how to play the game. Let's start off with IMG, uh, IMGN. So let's go to the watch list. Okay, so we got this one stock right here. Um, some of you guys remember this. We traded the stock a while ago. Uh, I think if you go back about a couple of years, IMGM was a pretty fun stock to trade. I don't know what happened here, but she was up. She had a nice little pop. She got great iceberg orders. You could see level three on the right. Um, she kind of backed off, but looks like she's got a little bit of a trend. You know, sometimes I know we got some beginner traders in here. So, you know, if you're a new starter, you know, just starting out, this might be up your alley. You know, here's the stock also we've traded many times. GLUU, uh, you remember the stock back in um, March. The stock went from 850 to 1150. It was pretty good, fun stock, but you got slammed after hours, earnings announcements, breaking a lower low. You're going to have to go back. Uh, looks like she's testing some support levels back of last year. So that one, you know, not the biggest orders out there, but she's got some good volatility. And that's what we're looking for. NTAP, this stock got halted. <laughs> it just literally just took a huge haircut. But she's making a little bit of a comeback, I think. You know, a little bit more of an advanced moving stock. A little bit more. It's in a, I probably in a, in a category four. I mean, look at the spread. Just remember, remember what you learned in class, guys. Uh, remember I was talking about spread trading? Don't buy at the offer. You got to buy it at limit. Buy with the buyers. If you buy it on the bid, you sell in the offer, you, you know, Right there alone, you can make a day's pay, but you got to know how to, I, I did a, I did a workshop on, on spread trading and that was one, it's called scalping. Basically, this is pretty much might be a good scalper, but a little bit on the high risk for some of you beginner traders. R H E another one that's moving pretty nicely up 54% today, 70,000 shares, a lot of orders out there, but I think she's up a little too much because you're starting to back off right now, starting to trend down, but could be a good stock going into the open. This one looks great. Look at this after hours trade. I mean, this thing just did not give up. This thing just went from five twenty to seven dollars, and it's probably testing these resistance levels right around here. You could see it. I could see it going up to seven fifty. You know, um, looking at if it holds here to support. I see a big, big buyer out here. That's basically what's hovering right here around six seventy five. You could see that there are some big buyers out there holding it. Two thousand seventeen hundred. I'm also seeing some big buyers out there on the level four. Uh, where am I at? There's, there's a big list today. Oh, PIN, Pinterest. Pinterest did pretty good yes, last uh, yesterday. I guess our earnings worked out pretty well for it. New public company. We know Pinterest was one of the big IPOs that came out. Looks like it did really well. It's gapped up pretty nicely up to 33, almost back to its IPO price. Uh, always very nice to see that. You know, as a swing trade, you know, I wish, you know, listen, we trade so many stocks. I wish I saw this a little bit earlier, but I bet 20, 26, 27 was a really good buy on a swing trade. The uh, CLDR, this one is also looks like it's filling in the gap. Also came out with some pretty good earnings after hours. Uh, the stock has been trending nicely. We saw the stock get destroyed. We watched it get, in, uh, that was an overnighter that went from nine all the way down to about five. Looks like she's starting to fill in the gap right there. I could see it probably, you know, listen, with all that gap fill, uh, I probably could test and go back to about 850. But you could see there's some, we got a big iceberg order out there for 17,000 Smackaroo shares at 760. I want to see if that guy gets executed here in the offer. He's not too far away. That's basically why it's hitting a resistance levels right there. It's got to get through this guy first. All right. Next one, we know about Square. Square um, just basically... Got it. You don't you don't see as many orders on here, but I'm seeing a lot on the level four system, and you can see that it kind of tests that big orders out there on the bid. Just be careful of the stock. It's a little bit more of a brand name. I know we've been tr we traded the square in the past. It's been a it's been a good swing trade stock, but um, but uh, I guess you know can't predict earnings, right? 
We don't own the company. We just want to trade the volatility. And uh, listen, I'm throwing back uh, TWOU on our list. It got decimated. It got destroyed. Stock was down at 60%. And, you know, listen, not too long ago in April, that stock was $70. So it's down to 13 So as a, you know, if, it, if it, it breaks this resistance levels around 14 it could be a pretty good, you know, you know, it could be a little bit, uh, maybe a swing trade here. But day trading wise, I'll be a little cautious. All right. So we got everything there. We got a pre, I mean, this is a really big list for Friday, even though I would think people probably be leaving soon early uh, and going out to the Hamptons here on Long Island, uh, New York City, going out and enjoy the summer. I mean, summer's almost over. My God, it's scary. Kids are going to be going back to college in about two weeks now, three weeks or something. But um, so I guess, uh, you know, remember, September is the busy time of the year. But, uh, but we have a pretty good volatility so far for a Friday, which is shocking. So let's make the best of it. All right. Ben just made uh, 40 cents on the short. He said he's rebounding. All right. Way to go, Ben. Give him a round of applause. Good for you, Ben. Nice. All right. All right, guys. So um, listen, we'll see you back at uh, – let's go see how, the open, uh, how it opens. And we'll be doing uh, our next broadcast uh, in the cyber group room at 2.30 or trade the afternoon. All right, guys, good luck, everyone. If I don't see you this afternoon, enjoy your weekend. Happy trading, everybody.